is, is, I don't know, cats, do you know if the sound is gonna, like, there's gonna be, like, echo, and it's gonna be, oh. Oh, I have no idea. <laughs> Yeah, okay, yeah, that might be true. Uh, but, 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 uh, but, but it is something that uh, we have the, the technology for. So. We have the technology. Yeah, we, have tech. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. we have the technology. Very cool. And we have one more gun we want to show off, which is this pretty little thing right here. Cats, or who would... Uh, I'm sorry, Chuck, you can't hear, unfortunately. I can still hear her. Oh, can you? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Uh, Katz, you wanna tell us what this is? So this is, I believe, the Nandu Type 14. So it'll be a pistol in use by the Japanese faction. Um, what I will say with all these weapons is textures are very much work in progress at the moment. Yes. So, so I need to put up, 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 put up the text. Uh, there we go, I'll put up the text. Work in progress. Yeah, <laughs> there we go. So, um, but it's, a, it's our starter, so you can see the kind of detail that we're looking at as we, as we go into. So, um... So this is one of the, I think, two pistols we've kind of got allocated for the Japanese faction. Uh, I won't say what the other one is, but we'll kind of showcase the other weapons later down the line as we go. Mm -hmm. But most of the, I think most of the models for the sidearms, are, well, for all of the weapons, I think, are done now, Chuck? If, I don't know, you might make them. Yeah, I think so. so yeah. And then, uh, like, uh, Apple, um, Red World, one of the contractors working on, 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 on the Mercury outside. Um, has just been, yeah, just like, pumped them out. <laughs> um, yeah. uh, you know, even ones we didn't ask for, it's been amazing. <laughs> yeah, 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 he, he, um, uh, you know, he, he, he's really good at research, uh, and, and, yeah. like, it's really, um, like, it makes our jobs a lot easier as well, since, uh, you know, um, uh, you know, we have our requirements, but then he always delivers, you know, like, 200%, so. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, I, I did love the conversation the other day, where, I think it was this morning, actually, where, one of the animators turns around and says, uh, Hey, which, which sniper rifle is this? Which one are we using? So, what do you mean, which one? I've got two. Why, why, why did you make two? When did that happen? So it's like, yeah, it's, he's been amazing. <laughs> <laughs> he's been amazing at going absolutely above and beyond, and it, it just kind of shows his passion for mm. historical realism as well. So yeah. he's, he's been brilliant. So. Yeah, totally. So I think that's it for guns. I'm gonna hide my. All oh, right. Yeah. So that, like I said, this is a work in progress and highly subject to change. You guys. Yep. Um. Uh. You know, like, like, uh, basically anything is still subject to change. Like, I, I believe, you know, like the the textures for this aren't done yet. It's 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 just more or less like it's all textures. Um. But uh, this is a uh, the the Type 99. Um. Uh. Uh. Like machine gun. That's the the uh, the primary. Um. The, like or my rifle for um uh, for the uh, Japanese army. Uh, it basically is a. Uh, I mean, if we use that word for four terms, uh, like it's basically like a really fast firing brand. Mm. Um, it has the same uh, rate of fire as as, as like the MG34. Um, uh, and uh, it's you know, basically fires from three round box magazines uh, as well. Um, it has the ability to mount uh, 2.5 times optic, um, making it actually um, a really, really versatile weapon. Um, as, as you actually very soon see, <laughs> in terms of versatility, it's also great in, in uh, close quarters as well, because uh, it has a, um, uh, a primary attachment in it. <laughs> oh! So, uh, Is that the full Japanese so is that the full? Is that the full range of? Yeah, yeah. So that that whole range there is the range of the yeah. melee. Yeah. Um, oh. Just seeing like a a, 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 a debug um, visualization of what the man is doing. So so oh. like anytime it hits anything, you see you see that red line as like a trace. Right. It's like okay, this is where all the all the, That's where the damage, damage uh, and all the hate and discontent gets directed. <laughs> the hate and the discontent. <laughs> That's so I cool. think this will help add a bit balance though with this particular weapon, kind of having the scope, so yeah, uh, bringing in as an MG when you're defending, that's going to be pretty effective, I think. Cool. Um, yeah, and, and, and uh, as you saw, uh, replay it? Replay it, yeah. Yep. Um, we, 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 we just have a running back on there. Like, um, uh, it has, um, uh, we're, 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 you know, trying out the, the uh, uh, a feature that, that uh, we prioritize actually on squad, uh, but we didn't kind of fully, um, uh, uh, implement it. Uh, it, it was 
is uh, the idea of you know switching between um, scopes and and, and, uh, and eyesight. Um, so uh, this was something that uh, you know that they wanted to try out, uh, especially since you know it's like just one of them. And, and, and um, the the way the scope and uh, iron sets are set up, like it actually kind of lends itself to to uh, to um, you using both uh, light science systems. Um, so yeah, like. If anything, uh, I'm kind of excited for this weapon because uh, this is like, like basically just what we pulled on the weapon. Like it does, it actually pretty much does everything. Like every single feature <laughs> that we can have on a weapon is on this one. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Very impressive. Yeah. God, yeah, I'm just thinking like with the ammo up there, you'd have to. Oh, like, yeah. Yeah. Um. Uh, sorry. Uh. Actually, can you can you go back just slightly? Yeah. Um. Back to when the weapon is deployed. And oh, down, and, down here? Yeah, yeah, and, and you're looking through the iron sights. The iron sights. Yeah, you, you just pause it, actually. Sure. Uh, and then, okay, so, you see at the back of the magazine, um, this? Yeah, there's a little hole where, where you can look at, uh, like, the rounds. Yes. Um, like, the, the machine gun has a feature where, um, like, uh, you can see, uh, if you're low on ammo, right. um, that, 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 uh, yeah, yeah, I didn't realize it's a map. Like, oh my god, you can see yeah, it, you, you can, can see the ammo like the yeah, 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 and right there. Yeah, yeah, and then, like, um, it's not in this version because we, we, we still have, um, a lot of more work to do on, on, on the texture side, but, um, uh, on the back of the magazine, for, uh, it's, it's a little counter. <laughs> so, uh, you can tell if you are running low on ammo, and it will count down from, like, I think four rounds down to one round empty, so... That's so, so, cool. so, so, like, when you're looking, it's just, it's just, it's just, <laughs> yeah. it's just a really, like, interesting kind of, like, bit of real-world design, uh, that you know, really, 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 really able to, like, replicate, and, and um, <laughs> and, uh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, just Bruno's spamming caps, so I, I can tell that there's probably some, Bruno, <laughs> some Bruno hype in the chat, probably. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> about what, <laughs> <Mullen. laughs> That's so cool. Yeah. I didn't realize that that was a thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's yeah this, cool. This gun in, in real life has a lot, has a lot of interesting features. Um, yeah. And it's probably in some way superior to, to, um, uh, to, to some uh, American or British arms. Cool. Mm -hmm. Really neat. Just, oh yeah, you can see the, like, moving. Yeah, you can see yeah. <laughs> and, so, and then it's empty. Uh, yeah, and, the, and then, um, ah. like, uh, when it turns black there, it's actually supposed to be, uh, we'll, we'll have, like, the numbers texture. Oh, uh, so, okay. So you can see, like, 451 and then... Wow, that's cool. That's pretty cool. Neat. Neat. Very cool. Alright, what else mm -hmm. do we got? So we'll just, we'll give you my desktop background. What do we got next? Let's just start looking at the comments. Uh, I mean, do you want to continue with the Pacific theme, or do you want to show off? There's no more Pacific theme. Uh, yeah, let's do another Pacific yeah, theme. Yeah, um, yeah. Just responding to John in the chat, will this video be on YouTube? Yes, we're going to look into cutting this up and putting it on YouTube. Yes. Um, yeah. And will the sound yeah, change? Yeah, I think everything is, uh, yeah. all the sounds, everything is, is, is subject to change. Yeah, the, the, the audio is um, still like, very heavily work in progress. Yeah, okay. Um, uh, is, is this the video? Oh, no, 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 this, this is all the videos that you shared okay. previously. There was a video that, um, I can, I, I'm not sure it's on this one. Uh, ooh, 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 ooh. This is people are gonna hear. People are gonna hear, yeah. <laughs> um, maybe, uh, I, I think I might have to upload on to Discord. On Discord, or? Yeah. In here? Is it back to the, yeah. Uh, and then there was, uh, this one? Go through all the memes, yeah. Uh, um, this one? Yeah. That's the, uh... I, I think it's the... It's the... I think it's I don't. Weapon. Oh, the... Okay. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah. This one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so this is uh, gonna be a... Pacific weapon, too. Yeah. Okay. This is not So, 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 uh... This guy is, um... Yeah, it's actually not a Japanese weapon. It's, uh... It's a US man. Um... Uh... Like, early war. Uh... Some machine gun. Um... It's the M55 Rising. Uh, it, it's basically, like, uh, it's a fairly fast-firing, um, uh, submachine gun, uh, that the, it was really designed for, um, uh, for the Paramarines, um, uh, like, I guess we wanted to, 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 to kind of, um, you know, portray a bit more, <laughs> I guess, like, variety when it comes to, to, to small arms, which we used in that, uh, in that, like, theater, um, and the Marines were quite, uh, with, uh, with, with what they, um, you know, 
uh, used ultimately. Um, so a couple of interesting features of, of this gun, uh, like, uh, it has a very small magazine, <laughs> like, yeah. I, I think, uh, originally was designed with a 20 round box magazine, but, um, due to feed issues, uh, for the double stack design, they ended up switching to a single stack 12 round magazine, and there's not a lot of ammo. <laughs> so, so, uh, but, but in, in terms of gameplay, like, we, uh, think that it could be a pretty interesting, uh, like, I guess like that one point, uh, between um, the, the Marines and uh, and the and the Japanese. So um, yeah. I think I think we've got a jump going to um tankers and logistics at the moment, between the M fifty and the M fifty five. So yeah. Yeah. Yeah, sure. yeah, so it's more I guess later war it was kind of more realigned troops with the Thompson kind of more rolled out by then. But yeah, we'll keep it in for the variety and uh, it's a cool little weapon yeah, I think. Yeah. For sure, yeah. Is there quite a bit of Spray on it, I guess, if you're just hip firing. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. um, uh, it, it's, it's, uh, you know, uh, in, in terms of, uh, this performance, that's it's pretty close to Thompson, although, uh, because this is a wire, this F55 version has, like, a wire stop, but, um, I believe it, uh, retuned it so that it just has more recoil, but uh, it's, mm. uh, it's, 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 the, the stock looks like a, like a coat hanger. So, right. So, this is not exactly the most comfortable. The most stable. Yeah, the most right. stable option in top Cheap and quick to get out, but maybe not the most reliable. Oh, yeah, like sure. yeah. I see. Yeah. And, and, and for, for those mentioning top, like, top things, like, like, uh, we, we, we also have, uh, uh like, uh, different variants of the, of the 1928 A1 version, um, that, uh, you know, ha has seen mm -hmm. service in, like, the Pacific, so, um, maybe we just haven't, you know, Full design as to how we want to, um, you know, uh, implement that uh, across the board. Is it 9mm or what? Uh, no, it's 45 ACP. 45 ACP. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I, I think all, um, US made submachine guns of the era, uh, were, were 45 caliber, so. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Very cool stuff. Yeah. Chuck the gun ex expert. I love it because I, 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 I don't know, I don't know anything about this stuff, you guys. I don't know anything. Uh, yeah. what else do you want to show off? These, I think people... Well, yeah, you know what, we'll actually switch on a bit, uh, yeah. we'll, we'll, we'll talk about a new, a new um, gun feature, uh, yeah. that, that we're, we're, we're trying out, and hopefully, you know, um, <laughs> it, it, it works in, in, in full scale gameplay. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, uh, fire up the, uh, the, the MG42 video. Okay. So, um, I'm just going to so cool. So, so this is a feature that, that, uh, we've been wanting to try to do for a while, um, like, uh, you remember in, in, in uh, a solo game, uh, Red Orchestra, uh, and, 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 and Red Orchestra 2, um, like, there was a feature that allowed you to, ch uh, change the barrel, uh, of, of, of certain machine guns, um, and, uh, and, like, um, it basically is a, uh, game balance, um, uh, I guess, feature where you could have realistically, uh, portrayed machine guns with you know, large belts of ammo, mm. uh, but it provided some kind of, um, c uh, I guess like, uh, some kind of point of balance, um, to prevent players from just like ripping through the entire belt, uh, yeah. and reloading and continuously doing that, so, um, so, so like, uh, as, as part of that, 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 that feature we added, um, like, uh, uh, overheating, uh, right. as a, um, as a, as a, as a mechanical light barrel wear, uh, so like, what that means is, um, like, based on the machine gun, um, like, uh, the, the barrel will get harder, uh, and you will go through certain states of, um, like, I guess, overheating. Right. Um, like, mechanically how it works is that as well. Oh, he says you can see, you can see, yeah, you can see how it gets red yeah, and yeah, hot, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and so, um, uh, so like, uh, basically, um, There's like almost three stages of like overheating. Uh, the first two don't affect your accuracy, okay. but they will affect uh, like your sight picture actually, Be because you can kind of see the steam and the heat waves coming off of yeah. the barrel. Uh, but then once you reach a certain threshold where the barrel is basically like uh, glowing, <laughs> yeah. uh, and, and, and you can very clearly see that there's like lots of lots of heat wave uh, coming out of the barrel. Then your accuracy just, you know, kind of burst the ship. Right. Well, it can't swear. 
Yes, you can swear. They say this is the most popular one, so it's why you can do whatever you want. Yeah, well, there's no rules here. Yeah, we all got it. Roll, roll, roll. Roll, roll, roll. Roll, roll, roll. Roll, roll, roll. So, um, uh, yeah, so, so, so then to, to obviously balance that, uh, uh, that out, so the machine guns have the ability to, to, uh, change the barrel. Um, uh, the, the, the barrel itself, uh, it is a, um, it's a, uh, um, I guess, like, supply, so, with, uh, um, you don't want to complicate it too much, uh, mm. like, like, you, you need to, to rearm or re, re, uh, resupply your barrels. Yeah. Uh, but, um, it, it's just, uh, you know, like, a need to Oh, okay, so, yeah, to, uh, based on the question someone did ask, is it, like, is there a limit to barrels so they're un they're unlimited? It's unlimited. Like, okay. like you treat it as if it was like a, a, a as like an animation. Okay. Or, or as interaction that you can do to reset your um your your, your, your level of like over here. Gotcha. Yeah. And does the barrel cool down on its own or you it know? does cool down on its own? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like like if you just leave it, it will go back down to room temperature. Um, uh, we don't have the the ability for you to I don't know like go and into a puddle <laughs> mm. <laughs> and, and cool it that way. Oh yeah. Uh, uh, or I've I've heard of some other unconventional ways, to, ways cool to cool the barrels. Yeah. I'm not going to say them. Yeah. We're Unfortunately, allowed to swear, but we're not allowed to talk about, about that, yeah. dirty nasty. Unfortunately, we don't have the technology to do that. Uh, and I'm not sure if it's a worthwhile. Uh, <laughs> I, guess, like, uh, I don't think so. Uh, it's a worthwhile spend. <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah. I think changing the barrels is just easier. Yeah, knows, yeah. <laughs> uh, I can, can show you, uh, I one? guess, yeah, uh, there's a few machine guns that we also did this for. Um, mm -hmm. Like, uh, I guess you can, you can show off, uh, say, like, the MG34. MG30, um, this one? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I, for, for, I just think like, I love just the design of the guns and really support, like, um, it, uh, it kind of hinges. Uh, and, and, and then the, the barrel can basically, you know, be, be slid out from, from the back. Um, like, uh, another reading was like, the MD-34 was more popular than the MD-42, um, for the crews, because that barrel change mechanism was a lot more easier to, um, like, manipulate, uh, from the inside of, like, a cramped, uh, like, tank. Uh, Cracked, it's all subject to change. I don't think the animations are complete, but uh, I believe you're in the testing Discord. We can talk about it in the testing Discord, correct? Um, yeah. Um, so then, uh, like, uh, uh, actually, one pretty important change uh, that, 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 that we are doing for the machine guns, which is the ones, is um, we're increasing the belt sizes. Uh, so, historically, um, both MG34. 42 and also the Browning 1919 uh, have um, 250 round balls. Uh, so we want to try to, to, to you know, get that uh, represented in the game. Um, uh, and, you know, the, the overheating and, and bow change mechanics were, 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 were uh, you know, developed in order to build a bow balls. So. Yeah. Um, yeah. I guess we can also keep an eye on the bow. What does? Does it just? Yeah. Uh, I, I think we have to keep an eye on the balancing aspects with yeah. Ren and stuff like that, but um, I think we've upped the, I think we upped the magazines available for the Ren too as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, um, I think we can play for sure, actually. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Um, this is this one here. The M2? Yeah. Oh, no, 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 sorry, the, the, uh, the, the Ren, yeah. So, like, um, I guess this is probably the first in any FPS game, uh, I'm clear if I'm wrong, but like, but like, uh, the brand is actually able to, to, uh, to switch barrels, uh, like, really quick, uh, pretty quickly as well, so, um, it's not, like, that, uh, crucial, uh, to, to barrel change on, like, a brand, considering the fire, fire, and, and, um, how often you need to change your, 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 your magazines, um, but, you know, we, we, we decided that, uh, you know, this is, like, a cool, uh, thing that you can do with, uh, with, uh, with the, um, uh, with, like, the brands, uh, and, and also the, the ZB-26, uh, which is basically the same, well, the, uh, same family of, like, weapons. And this is the one that sizzles, right, when you drop the barrel? One second. I gotta turn that up, because that was a nice touch. They, they all kind of sizzle. <laughs> um, uh, but yeah, like, like, uh, it, it depends on whether you, uh, I think get unlucky sizzle. roll the dice with the, with, 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 like, the bullet. <laughs> Let's see if it sizzles. I'm pretty sure this one does. Yeah, there's a bit of a sizzle there. I don't know if the stream heard it, but there is a bit of a sizzle there. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> it's there. I'm telling you, it's there. <laughs> um, just finish it one more. Uh, one more. From, from this, uh, this the um, this is the M2. Okay. So um, uh, like you know, naturally we uh, we we want to extend this mechanic. Um, so you know, we need mechanic over to uh to to replace weapons. Um, and and uh uh like turret mounted weapons. Um. But obviously, uh, there, there are some, you know, guns that, that, uh, that, that, uh, don't allow you to actually change the files, so, um, uh, in, in the case of the M2, yeah, you can change it, but, like, you need to, this, this particular, uh, iteration of it, like, you need to worry about, you know, head spacing and, and, and other, I guess, more technical details that, that, that it was too difficult to kind of represent that, um, especially at the pace of, uh, gameplay that, that, uh, that, that's, uh, that that's nice what it was at. Um, so, uh, it's a bit of a, you know, like a mobile, mobile balancing mechanic for, for, uh, for, like, uh, a place to turn around machine as well. It's really cool. Yeah. Um, John in the chat says, will the barrel be on the ground for a few seconds? I'm assuming. Uh, It'll just disappear? No, but, uh, that does actually give me an idea. <laughs> oh, John, you've given him an yeah, idea. Yeah. Carnage system with barrels. With barrels. Just a pile of Yeah, this is yeah, um, cool. Uh, uh, this mechanic though does not extend to 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 classical machine guns. Uh, and and, and, um, uh, and uh, like I guess machine guns that are based off of the tank system. Um, it's it, it, it's it's half technical, half uh. I, I, I guess, like, gameplay in a sense. Um, uh, like, we, we may visit that at, uh, at a certain point, but, uh, for the upcoming release, um, like, tank-based clash of machine guns and, 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 and uh, machine guns that are not turn-mounted, uh, as in, like, the ones that regular infantry can use, um, those will, uh, function as they are kind of like, so they don't have a, I guess, a search or a game attack. Mm. Bruno, we could do a, a VFX stream if you want. I'd love that. Mm. Um, yeah, these this is really cool stuff. Like, I'm not a big gun person or history person, but I can recognize that this is cool. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's, uh, yeah, like, like, my main game is this. Uh, and, and, um, uh, like, like, it's, uh, uh, like, a, a, a bit of a cool kind of, like, feature that not even Mainline Squad has, even though, you know, the devs have been... They uh, want this? Oh. Like, yeah. Squad 44 gets it first, baby! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Squad 44 gets it first. Yeah. 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 And then Squad will get it. So. Cool, cool, cool. I'm just sat here with a huge smile on my face. Yeah. And, yeah. Like, any, I know saying, anytime Chuck does something, I'm just like, oh wow. Yeah. yeah. Keep, keep going. Yeah. Yes. Keep, keep going. Yes. Let him run with it. That's super cool. Well, thank you, Chuck, for joining me. Yeah, no worries. Yeah. Um, I think, I mean, we've been live for an hour, that's kind of all the updates that we have today. If there's any questions that you guys have, uh, feel free to drop them here. We're not able to do all of them, but- oh wait, exclamation point discord! If someone wants to type that in the chat, Australia, please. Um, 